everybody, Terry here. And I am behind like four days um, since I started my job. I've been just trying to figure out how to schedule things and now I think I have it figured out for next week so that I do something every day and don't get so far behind. So I'm relying on Mary Inglebright. Um, let's see if I can show you. I have all four days, actually five days laid out there. Uh, most of it's Mary Inglebright, and then there's some planner type stuff and a magazine, a couple magazine things to like bring it all together. So <laughs> here I am, Wednesday and Thursday. Oof. Wednesday was just work. It was my third day at my new job, and it was just it was just work nothing else and I just want to put some washi in here that will go with this um, I didn't plan everything out because I figured I could like gather some of my stuff as I went so I'm just gonna pick out some washies quick that would probably go with some of the stuff I'm doing today. And that way I don't have to go like hunting, hunting them down <laughs> later on. Okay, well, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, I just like tossed out a bunch. I'm still tired. I'm still like trying to catch up on everything and I, um, just getting used to working outside the home again is like huh, craziness for me. So that's kind of what I've been doing these days. And um, so by the time I get home and supper and I was just like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I just sat down in front of the TV and did nothing. So I have decided that that is not going to fly anymore. <laughs> and I'm going to, before I sit down in the, you know, after supper and dishes, before I sit down and do absolutely nothing, I'm going to take time in here in my craft room, journal the day, um, get some Christmas happy mail ready because I do need to do that before it catches up with me and I'm like eh, behind like today behind okay and I'm gonna throw some yellow in with this I just thought that would be pretty to toss a little yellow in. That there. And we'll put some here. Some of this I'll probably end up covering over. I have no idea. Um, you know, that's just how it goes with this. You just don't know. I haven't had a chance to watercolor or do my Bible journaling or anything. Just been trying to get adjusted to working in an office eight hours again when my schedule used to be a bit different. It would be like five to seven hours. Um, and at home, and even though it was every day, five to seven hours most of the time. I still was at home. I didn't have to commute. I wasn't eight hours at a desk. So um, that's made a big difference. So kind of signifies that that's me. <laughs> Going to bed tired, waking up tired. But I... I'm just gonna I'm just embracing it because this is the job that I want and it's a good job and I'm really excited about where it's gonna go so even despite 
tiredness and trying to fit crafting, journaling, etc. in my day somehow, which I'm going to do somehow. Um, let me clip this. I am going to choose happy despite that because I know that this really is the best, the best thing. And my book is almost done and then I'll just do this big flip through of November so you can see what it looks like. So there we go. And there really nothing happened but work, so that's all I'm going to write about there. Thursday, um, I'm just like still so grateful and um, everything. It's just, I'm grateful for my job and how everything's working out. And um, there were a lot of good emotions today on Thursday. And so that's what I was going to journal about because, well, in the, in the evening, and I'll leave some space at the bottom here, um, I babysat my granddaughter. So that's always a nice time. And this kind of represents um, bedtime snuggles and reading before she goes, you know, to sleep. And then, um, ooh, this thing is sticky. Let me get a different one. But then there's just lots of emotions um, good ones, good emotions that come. Ugh, come on, glue stick. Come with this whole day and um, this time in my life. And I wanted to journal about those because, you know, I didn't have a lot to journal about otherwise. But I'm just going to do this all these emotions because um, I'm grateful for my job and my granddaughter and great and I have peace like I'm doing the right thing and I really have peace about it and just love the love goes down here with my family and I love my job and just all kinds of things so it's kind of a to be about feelings so there's Thursday so <clears throat> excuse me I'll just give you a little close-up so Wednesday and Thursday so Wednesday nothing really but work and the fact that I'm my I'm just trying to get used to it physically and then um, babysitting in the evening work and just my feelings about work and life in general and I'm grateful I'm at peace and lots of love in my life. So that brings us to Friday and Saturday. And there's more of pink <clears throat> pink colors in here than green. So I was thinking about that. How to show that. And I'm just not going to worry about the fact that I painted a green background because I just painted the rest of the month ahead of time the background because I knew that I was not going to like have a ton of time extra time so I'm gonna put some of my washi down again and we'll get some up here I always like to do just this little you know, bit of washi. You kind of actually do the same type of pattern um, almost constantly with my washi, but um, I don't know. It just seems to work. I either match the colors on the background or I'll match what I'm putting down, and in this case, I'm more matching what I'm going to put down. So, come on, peel off of there. Not going to use as much of this. 
two. Oh, and this book is so thick. <laughs> it's so thick. It's just crazy. And wonderful. Crazy and wonderful. So thick. I like it. I had to hold it together like for a few days shut with a binder clip just so that it would um, shut properly. Yeah, there we go. That one didn't do it sticking good because it wasn't the way it was supposed to be. There we go. Okay, so Friday was our first snowfall of the season and it didn't stick here where I live. But when I got dropped off at work by my husband, it was craziness. Um, it was lightning and thundering and pouring rain and even some hail. And it just rained for a few, you know, a few hours. It, it was so crazy, my gosh. And um, and then around two o'clock in the afternoon, it started snowing. And it snowed for a few hours. Now, where I work, which is a half hour from where I live, um, they ended up with some snow on the ground. I Probably not even an inch, because it melted, because the ground is warm. But up where my niece lives, oops, what did I do here? Up where my niece lives, it, um, they got 17 inches, and other places got up to 24, and let me tell you. I'm pretty happy that we did not get that much snow. Yikes. Now, for this week, Thanksgiving week, we are have another prediction of snow. This is a cutout from a magazine. And, um, like, there's a chance for snow on Tuesday and Wednesday, but I don't think it's a chance for anything big, just some light snowfall. I'd, I'd like a little bit of snow for Thanksgiving. Um, either way... But anyway, I found this adorable Mary Inglebright picture that I just have to put in here. And it's a girl in the snow, and she's like ringing the bells, and it says, Ring happy bells across the snow. So I put this snowy pink picture from a magazine, and then I put her. And really, that's all the day was. It was work and snow. Snow, snow, snow. So it was, it was good. It was a good day. So let's see if I can somehow. I need to do a little trickiness here. And this is kind of a weird way to do this, but I really want to be able to tuck some of that under. And it's really harder when you get down to the end of a very thick insert, especially an insert that has lots of pages like this one, and you get down to the end and it's just craziness. I'm thinking I'm going to switch to just doing one insert per, per month instead of trying to squish two in one insert because, man, it's crazy. There. Yay, snow. Oh, and it got so cold. This weekend was so cold. Um, it did not get above 30 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday or today. Just insane. Now, Saturday was a very full day. We, The good thing was we got up late and we relaxed before we um, took off and did all our stuff for the day. And we just had, you know, a, a late brunch. And then we ran and did errands for Thanksgiving. And then I babysat in the evening. So I'm just trying to, we had our granddaughter overnight. So I wanna put that picture down at the bottom. So it's kind of starting on the opposite end. But actually my daughter and granddaughter came over for supper and a movie and we watched um, Finding Dory. Just, oh my goodness. So cute. What a cute movie, really. There. And and then in the morning, like I said, we went shopping and early afternoon and morning. 
And we got all the rest of our Thanksgiving prep. We're having Thanksgiving at our house. And so we got um, everything we needed. And I thought, well, I don't have room in the freezer for the turkey, so I'm going to buy it, you know, either yesterday or today. And I thought, well, today, because there'll be some sales. Well, I found a... T Oops. <laughs> I found a 22 pound turkey people <laughs> for 79 cents a pound and I'm like okay I'm getting it we're having 12 people come over to our apartment for Thanksgiving haven't figured out how I'm gonna fit them all oh one more thing and then I'll explain that well okay so after we covering up my Tuesday, but I, I have to, okay, or my Saturday, after we, um, ugh, did the shopping, we dropped our stuff off at home and put it away, we went to the hospital to see my friend Nancy, we went to college with Nancy, so that was back in 1978, and then we were on the mission field in Mexico together for 15 years, so she's like, um, she's like my kid's grandma. They called her grandma. And, um, she moved back to Bloomington, oh, probably a couple years after we did, to Minnesota. And so we see her all the time. And two years ago in January, <clears throat> she, um, retired. And then in February, she found out she had ovarian cancer, stage three. So they've been, there's several chemo treatments you can try. So if one doesn't work. They can try another, and she's on her third try with the chemo. And anyway, she was had to be overnight in the hospital for a few days for some complications, um, probably from the chemo and stuff. And um, she's, oh my gosh, you guys, she's so thin, and she's lost so much weight, and um, she's this is the second time she's lost her hair. And um, she's just tired. And it's, you know, it's really hard. And I don't want to talk too much about it because I'm going to cry. And I cried when I went to see her yesterday, so I don't want to cry again. But um, she is just such a blessing. And she is so thankful to God just for everything, even with the cancer. She just talks about him and how he's been with her. And she just has hope in him. Whether she's healed or not, she just, just, you know, she's just got a really strong relationship with God. So that was a very difficult visit, but um, just there with her on the journey. Now this is all you need is a friend. And I'm really happy to be her friend. And then after that, my daughter and granddaughter came over, like I said, for supper and a movie. We watched Finding Dory, and my granddaughter stayed overnight and went to church with us in the morning. So I was going to put some stickers here for the snow, but I don't think I will. I think I'm really happy with what we got. And we had the coolest thing um, in church today. Oh, let me see how long this video is getting because oh, I don't want it to be too long. It's almost 20 minutes. I'm going to stop because um, Sunday's not over anyway, so... Four days on one video is probably sufficient. So, Wednesday and Thursday, all done. And just the writing I have to do. And Friday and Saturday. So, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to try and keep up from now on. And do hopefully do more videos during the week. Because I'm going to use my evenings wisely. I promise. And um, I hope you all have good into your weekend and a great week ahead. Bye.